Dead Rise Retribution is uh, an action game. It is a third-person shooter game combined with a third-person fighting game. Vice City Cop, Jack Slade. The player is, is following his story, how he discovers a conspiracy and how he's going to fight it. Have you seen the news? Do you know how many times I had to show my ID to get here? Jack, people are looking for you. Yeah, all the wrong people. What the hell happened to you? Where's Shadow? Oh. Here, boy. What have you two been up to? He's always been a poor judge of character. The most important features of, of that right are the seamlessly integrated combat system and Shadow. Shadow is obviously a very important partner as an AI body. He is going to fight alongside you at the same time listening to your commands. The seamlessly integrated combat system is something that players have never seen before. We were able to combine the hand-to-hand -hand fighting system and using the gun into the same control system. There are no mini cutscenes, there are no changing camera, no changing control. Everything in any given time is the same. It is not only a reboot of the franchise and a whole new beginning of a series of games, hopefully, but it is also a testing ground for this kind of, of action gaming. Dead to Rights had many hallmark features which really identified the franchise. One of them is uh, the brutal execution move, which we call uh, uh, takedowns. These are uh, context-initiated uh, moves which you, which you can finish an enemy off. They are quite brutal, they are lethal, they are quite bloody, often quite messy. At the same time, I would like to believe that people understand that in this game, violence is there for a reason. It's not violence for violence's sake. Uh, there is a story why and explaining why Jack goes over the edge. No, no, no. Detective Slate, we don't need vice down here interfering. Yeah, it looks like you need all the help you can get. Where's the negotiator? Where's SWAT? Look, I'm waiting on a cup. Listen, Slate. I'm doing the negotiating. Does a negotiation require a two-way conversation? How many are up there? Do you know? How many hostages? How many hostage takers? Do we have any shooters covering the balcony? Look, we're gonna sit tight and wait for backup. Understand? Oh oh, no, 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 Jesus! No! Oh, Jesus! Fuck! Listen, these fuckers don't want to talk in this. Wait's over. Are you gonna make a move or not? We are actually very proud of what we were able to create. We spend an awful lot of time explaining to the voice actors that what is the what is the story arc, what is the environment, describing Grand City, describing the other characters and their uh, emotions to each other, and how what is the journey they go through. Better not pull any cheap punches, Jack. Remember, I'm just an old man. One thing which which might sound obvious to people, but is not necessarily happening in the games industry, that when two people are talking to each other. Uh, putting them at the recording booth at the same time so they can play off each other. We're just gonna keep talking. Old man, are we gonna actually fight? <laughs> Don't be in such a rush to lose some oh, to lose. Still talking. That's all I hear. Talking. Similarly, when we recorded um, a motion capturing, we separated out stunt work from acting. Hollywood-based martial artists and stunt actors uh, were giving us the movements for the fighting sequences. We think it was very important that have a specific manager in charge of animations in this game because it's such animation heavy title. We needed someone who, knew, who understands how martial arts work and how those moves work. He is a, 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 a martial artist practitioner himself and he was uh, working together with the stunt actors and, and martial artists in, uh, in Hollywood in our uh, motion capturing session. And well, one thing led to another and, and he ended up coming home with a broken rib. It is just really about dedication. When you go into a mock-up session and, and, there, and you look at the data and ah, it's not rough enough, um, again and again and again. And it got rough enough, fair enough. I mean, it was, it was rough enough to break, break him. At the end of the day, uh, obviously I know it's an extreme example of dedication, but that's what the whole team is trying to do. Really, everyone's putting in all their efforts to make sure that this game is going to fly. Thank <laughs> you.